Hey everybody, this is Frilly Off and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Now the other day I showed you how to build a silent hopper timer that ran for 4 minutes 15 seconds and I've had some fantastic feedback about that. Thank you very very much. And I've also had quite a few questions and the, one of the first people to ask was Average Joe who asked if there was any way that we could extend that time from 4 minutes 15 to uh, to well to, to well over 38 minutes in order for, for him to be able to uh, man, uh, to automatically harvest a bamboo farm um, so i've had a quick play about with the system and yes it's possible and i've done it behind me so i'm going to show you how to do that today now with the upgrade the system will now run for up to 63 minutes depending on how many items you put in the dropper that's just above my head but we'll go through the calculations and everything a little later on so i'm going to show you how to build it Okay, everything you need to build this is on the hotbar, so uh, I, I won't put a list on the screen again. There doesn't seem a lot of point because it's there for you to see. There's very, very little that you need. A dropper, a hopper, five comparators, two redstone torches, three blobs of redstone dust, and then your blocks of choice, and that's it. And then you want to get to one of the sides of your timer. It doesn't matter which side you build it on. Uh, you can build it on either side. And you want to put down... Eight blocks, just like that. Okay, and we're going to use this torch here to take the signal to fire the comparator to fire the dropper. So whip out your dropper and put it facing away from the torch. It's got to be a dropper. Don't use a dispenser. Okay, put a dropper there like that. And then on the face of that, you'll have to crouch and you want to put a uh, a hopper. Okay, and then next to the dropper, you want to put down a solid block. And then next to the solid block, you want to put down another comparator. And that comparator is going to read when there is nothing left in this dropper. Okay, so every time the circle goes around, that light will flash. And it will fire one item out of this dropper into the hopper. Okay, and as soon as that dropper is empty, that comparator is going to know about it. And it's going to reset the clock. Okay, so you've got something that looks like that. Then you want to put another solid block there. And on the side of that solid block, you want to put down a redstone torch. Okay, so now you've got that. Now you want to take out your solid blocks again. And you want to put eight solid blocks on the bottom like that. Okay. And then what you need to do is put down two blobs of redstone dust there and there. And then you want to put down a solid block just there. And on top of that solid block, you want to put down a redstone torch. And that will lock that hopper uh, until until the, the dropper there has run out of items and it'll put a pulse through the pulse extender where we're about to put down, turning off that torch, which will allow all of those items to flow back into the dropper again. Now, this is very important. You want to put down a pulse extender in here that's made out of four comparators, but you need to put the comparators down in the correct way. So you need the first two comparators going into that block. Okay, you can't have them there. Because if you have them that way round, this is not going to work. So you do need the comparators, the first two facing into that solid block to turn the torch off. And then you want to turn around facing the other way and put down another two comparators facing that way. OK, then whip round this side and put yourself down a blob of dust just there. Now you need to decide how long you want this thing to run for. Now, as I mentioned, if you completely fill one of these hoppers, this clock will run for 4 minutes 15 seconds. Therefore, if you stick two items in this dropper here, it's going to run for 8 minutes and 30 seconds or up to 8 minutes and 30 seconds. If you then take a few items out of these droppers, uh, sorry, these hoppers here, uh, you can manipulate how long the, the cycle runs for on this clock. Now, I'm sure there's a calculation to do it, but I don't know what it is. But it's just going to be trial and error. So if you want it to run for 8 minutes and 30 seconds, you want to completely fill these hoppers and you want to put two items in this dropper. If you want it to run for 8 minutes, then take a couple of items out of these hoppers here uh, and then run the system and see how long it lasts for. It's, as I say, 
I don't know the cal calculation, but it is going to be trial and error. However, I do know that if you put, uh, if you completely fill the hoppers in the, the, the main timer and you put two items in, it runs for 8 minutes 30. If you put three items in the dropper, it'll run for 12 minutes 45. Four items, it'll run for 17 minutes. Five items, it'll run for 21 minutes 15. Six items, 25, 30. Seven items, 29, 45. Eight items, 34 minutes. I'll just scoot down to the end so you can see for your reference, just in case you wanted to know. Now, the maximum length of time this particular hopper will run for, the, the, the maximum cycle length is 63 minutes 45 seconds. And that's because of the delay caused by these comparators here if you want it to run for any longer than that then you'll need to turn these comparators through 90 degrees and have them running up this way and just add more comparators basically that comparator will turn off this redstone torch for long enough for 15 items to travel to flow back from this hopper back into this dropper if you have any more than 15 items in this dropper then when these comparators activate turning off this redstone torch only 15 items will flow back through from this hopper back into the dropper so if you if you want this to to uh, to run for any longer than 63 minutes 45 seconds as i say you are going to have to extend that delay and you can just do that by turning them around through 90 degrees and adding more comparators but i don't i'm not sure you'll need uh, a system that uh, a, a timer that will last for longer than 63 minutes so once you've got this sorted out it's clicking at the moment because i don't have an item in there once i've got an item in there it's going to stop clicking so i'll do that now uh, so now once you've done that uh, you can pull a signal from pretty much anywhere you like stick a few more items in there so it doesn't keep going off continuously and grab a a redstone repeater so if you want this to uh, to activate a a bamboo farm every 38 minutes and 15 seconds or so then you want to stick nine items in here so we've got nine items in there now and then you want to stick your um, your repeater off of a block like that it can come off of there it can come off of and come off of there okay so there are a couple of couple of areas you can pull a signal from. You can have it coming off, off there. Okay, so now every 38 minutes or so, 38 minutes, 15 seconds, those repeaters will be activated, which is going to flush a farm or activate some pistons or do whatever you want it to do. So there are a couple of things you just need to remember about this contraption or any redstone contraption for that matter. It, so if you build it in a spawn chunk on a server, it will work continuously whether there is anybody on the server or not. OK, so it'll run continuously, whether you're in the nether or or in the end or miles and miles away uh, raiding a woodland mansion somewhere. This will continue to run. However, unless there is a player within 128 or so blocks of the farm that this is activating, if you're ha having this activate a bamboo farm or a kelp farm the the crops won't grow even in a spawn chunk if there isn't a player within 128 or so blocks i don't know the exact distance and it may well vary depending on the the render distance on your server but i know that a crop won't grow in a spawn chunk unless there is a player within a certain number of blocks of those crops so bear that in mind if you build this uh, in a spawn chunk and you have crops in a spawn chunk and then you disappear off the server for five days your crops won't grow and when you come back you won't have any crops so it's this is not broken it's just because there is not a player within the certain number of blocks or a certain number of chunks around the the crops for the crops to grow okay so bear that in mind when you build this okay don't build it and then plant your crops and then disappear to the other side of the map expecting this to continue farming your crops it'll con the, the contraption will continue to work but your crops won't grow unless there's a player within 128 or so 
blocks of the crop. So hopefully that clears that up for you. So that's how you build the upgrade onto the silent hopper timer that extends the signal up to 63 minutes. Thank you for watching everybody. I really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. This is Frilly Off and I'm out of here.